Hi, it's Dr. John Perlman, Beverly Hills Plastic Surgeon. Sometimes patients want to look different. They want to look better, and they may mistakenly think that they needed a facelift. And sure, a facelift is great for somebody whose jowls are droopy or their neck is droopy, but there are many people who, for example, after weight loss, really just need a change in the contour and shape of their face. And this affects people who haven't lost weight as well or, or have tried perhaps unsuccessfully. So very often I examine a patient, I look at their cheeks, I look at their chin, I look at their neck, and I find that there's a combination of a round, a fullness in the cheek, a roundness, a small chin, very often accompanied by some extra fat in the neck area, what we call the submental area, the area under the chin. And there's some flattening of the cheeks in the bone area, the bone region. As a result, a combination of buccal fat pad removal, which is done through a little tiny incision inside the mouth to take out the fat that allows babies' uh, muscles to uh, have lubrication, so to speak, when they're nursing, and persists in some people, can make it look like somebody's lost five or six or eight pounds just by flattening this area of the cheek. Not up here, not back here where the muscle is, but this area where a lot of people have roundness that doesn't go away even if they lose weight. Combine that with a conservative augmentation of the chin with a chin implant, placement of some fat into the cheeks or even uh, juvederm into the bony part of the cheek, and in appropriate cases, liposuction under the neck can provide multiple small changes that really change the appearance of the face in a favorable way. You might look slimmer, you might have a nicer bony structure, uh, and this is all done with relatively small surgeries with an easy recovery. So just a thought, just an option for you to think about. Maybe you don't need a chin implant, but maybe your cheeks are round, or maybe your cheeks aren't round, but your chin is weak. These are all smaller procedures that can be considered. Well, I hope you found this informative. Thank you for listening. Have a good day.